Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. Android version 2.2, also known as Froyo, has built-in wireless tethering options and also wired tethering options. So you can take your phone and turn it into a high-speed modem for your iPad or laptop or anything, wherever you are. Let's take a look at how it works. Okay, so let's get started here. Now, People that have had their devices rooted uh, on Android have been able to do this for a while now, but now it's built right in uh, to the operating system, which is quite nice. So I'm just going to go over here to settings, and then I'm going to go to uh, wireless and networks, and then tethering and portable hotspot. Here's the option. It's not a program. It's actually bur buried within the settings. So I'm going to select that, and I am going to check off portable Wi-Fi hotspot. Now it's going to turn it on. Very simple to use. Okay, and now we can see a notification up here that says uh, tethering or hotspot is active. I can change the settings if I want to make it um, have a, a certain level of security with WPA2, but I'm going to leave it open just for simplicity's sake. And let's get out an iPad and connect to the device. So let's take a look here. So we are in uh, the settings here, and I'm going to look for the network. Here it is, Android AP, and we'll do a speed test to see how fast the speeds are while you're tethering through your Android phone now with Froyo. Um, so I'm going to go back here and let's go to the speedtest.net application and run a speed test. So let's see how we do. Okay, for some reason we got really bad performance. Let's test it again. Um, hopefully we'll get better results this time. For some reason the performance on the built-in Froyo tethering for wireless isn't as good as the wireless tether program that you can get uh, if you have rooted your device. But let's take a look at what we get here. So pretty good upload speeds. Download speeds aren't too, um, aren't too great at only 361 kilobits per second. But let's go into the web browser and just take a look at how web pages load while we're tethered here to the Nexus One running Froyo. So I'm going to go to pocketnow.com. So here it is, not too bad. It took about 10 seconds to load. Uh, certainly, if you are in need for a wireless hotspot, if you're on a train or in a car or at a Starbucks, this will be certainly helpful, although I'm likely to revert back to the wireless tether program. Let's take a look at how the, the wired uh, tethering works. We're going to use a laptop. Be right back. Okay, and here we are. So I've got the Nexus One plugged in with USB. I'm going to put the other end into the laptop here, and we should be able to switch on USB tethering. So it says turn on USB storage. I don't want to do that. I do want to turn on I do want to turn on USB tethering here. So I'm going to check that off. And it's making funny sounds on my computer. It says your device is ready to use. So I'm going to wait about 15 seconds and try to go on the internet. Okay, let's see what happens when we go to PocketNow's homepage. Okay, and here we are. We are tethering with USB. It doesn't seem terribly fast. I'm going to run a speed test in a second. I'm sure the speeds are much, much faster than we just saw with the, uh, the wireless tethering. So I'm going to jump over to speedtest.net. Let's see what we do. And while you are tethered on the Nexus One, you get a little notification up at the top that says tethering or hotspot active, just like we did with the wireless. So let's click begin test and see how we do. All right, so much, much, much better when you're connected with a wire. Um, we're going to get a solid, almost three megabits per second down, and of course we're on we're on AT and T's HSPA network. Let's see what upload speeds are going to be. Wow, just did a big, big burst there to 1.5 up and about three down. So much more impressive if you are using the USB tethering mode. But again, I think that the wireless hotspot. Uh, application that's been out there for a long time for rooted users is actually provides faster speeds for the wireless portion of this than does what is built into Froyo. I'll put a link up on pocketnow.com on how to get that particular utility. And that was a look at the tethering options now for Android 2.2. That's it for now.